Today we're going to be playing another quest, which is Stockpile Siege. Now, Stockpile, it hasn't gotten that many changes in a while, but, you know, it's still pretty reasonable. And there's a couple cards I thought we could try out just for a bit of fun. So let's get into it. We are playing Stockpile, it's kind of in the name. We're playing Crystal Skull. We are playing Siege, again, in the name. And we have our Hensel, a really great finisher in the deck, really great engine card, just super strong. Uh, your best short round is usually Hensel plus something with order that you can reset. Then we have Amphibious Assault for some consistency. And then we get into one of the cards we really wanted to try out, which is War Elephant. Uh, I just think War Elephant's cool, and I wanted to try him out. Now, you can definitely play other stuff here. Uh, you can fit in a Heat Wave and buff something by two. You can go like Heat Wave and then fit in the Chariot, War Chariot, which is kind of interesting. I thought about trying that out too. But uh, you can just do that. You can fit in no Nyromancy for double consistency. Sometimes you don't see your Seizure Hand Cell. Sometimes that'd be useful. There's a lot of things you can do. You can play pretty much any of the expensive cards you want to do here instead of the War Elephant. But I thought War Elephant would be pretty fun. Just wanted to try him out. Then moving on from that, we have King Radovid. It's really great with Stockpile. The extra charges are super, super useful. Especially if you get like five charges with Henselt. You need a lot of points very quickly. Then we have Radovid Judgment. Uh, I just think he's... If you're playing Radovid, and pretty much if you're playing Radovid and you have these charges, you probably should just be playing Judgment. Um, yeah, probably should be playing it. Then we have Foltis Pride. Very strong engine, does a lot of damage. And it can be a little bit annoying sometimes to set up the soldiers. Because we aren't playing that many inherently in the deck, but it's not too bad. And we have a couple other cards that help out. We have John, just to play our Warfare, so playing Amphibious Assault and a couple others, so that would be good inclusion. We have two Onagers. Onagers are super strong when they start get they start going. Now, if you can just open with like a Ballista and it pulls out a Siege Master, then you play Onager, you can immediately do like several damage and kill things. So it's pretty strong, especially if you're cooling down things. And we're going to play Odrin this time. Um, just He's a one-man crew. Uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to try him out. We don't have anything that works incredibly well with him. Let's look at the crew cards, right? Uh, Foltis Pride's the best one with him. It's pretty reasonable. And then obviously you can use Towers. It's not too great on the War Elephant because, um, well, I guess it works pretty well in War Elephant. You still need the other unit next to him, though. So, actually, you just, he boosts both. I thought he just boosted by, no, I guess if you just do War Elephant plus Odrin, it'll work. Oh, we can try that out. Then we have a Boiling Oil, the two Kara Ballistas, two Reinforced Ballistas, two Siege Masters, Bombardments, Winches, you know how it is. Siege Supports, Siege Towers. All pretty normal stuff here. Now, the Siege Support, if you can use it, the only thing I really want the Siege Support for would be War Elephant. That's the only thing I'd be really good on. Or that and Radovid. Like, he, it's a good setup for both of those. But as far as the rest of the deck, you could make a couple changes. I consider playing Reinforced Trebuchet. You can always play a Battering Ram. Those are options. You can play more Control, fit in the Heat Wave, fit in even a Muzzle if you want to. But so this is what we're going with this time. I thought it'd be pretty fun, and you guys suggested it, so we're going to be playing it. Tactical decisions could be a lot of things. Did get buffed. Got a Siege Master, that's nice. I think we'll keep a Bombard... Nah, not Bombard, but the ones are good enough. We do want to redraw for the Siege Masters as much as possible, I think. We'll put that one back. don't think we need you at the moment. I'm an officer, I'm a also, don't need you, but whatever. It's going to be hyper thin. I saw a girl of Sunset Wanderers there. Could be Renfrey hyper thin. She's better than regular hyper thin. Although the hyper thin deck we made the other day was pretty fun. It's just hyper thin struggles against Nilfgaard, but we don't have any way to mess up his deck if he is playing it. But if he is, you know how to play. Just don't let him have short round three. Bleed them round two. Actually, more of a all-in round two is usually better. It's Albrecht triggering. Let's do it. No. I mean, he could just move Renfrey to the top if he's playing Renfrey. This could be a lot of things. Don't need to use his order yet because this will kill it. Now, Must have gotten the Albrecht in his opening hand, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's what happened. So I'm guessing 
If he's playing Renfrey, he moved Renfrey to the top, drew it, and then put back the Albrecht. It's pretty good for him. Let's play you. He shouldn't have much control in this deck. He's got a lock, it's fine. I don't think he'll do too much here, but he might go for the snowdrop play if he has it, because he needs that round one control. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to end up playing our I think this is still here. So it's gonna be the Renfrey version. It's Renfrey Hyper then. Almost certainly. That triggers. I think we want to get our John here. Actually, let's just take the support. Uh -oh. the cooldown. Keep John for later, because he's flexibility. Guess we'll have to go Caro Ballista next, or Reinforce Ballista next. We don't want to play all of them, so we really want him to pass here. That would be the ideal situation. To be honest, yeah, he doesn't really have a chance of catching up. It's just how many of our cards will be forced to play. Because we don't want to use all of our engines in one round. Now, since it's hyper thin, we push here. Problem is going to be the Renfri. Because it gives a lot of tempo and a lot of value. Put you back. John, we'd love to find our Siege. But this hand is really good. I think I'll put you back. Oh, sure, we can always get off of the Amphibious Assault. Because we don't have many other cards to play with him, so that's why we put him back. I think... I think we just play a Siege Tower. The only things we have left to trigger our siege with are our hand and this one tower. So let's be careful about how many siege engines we play. I'd like to hold the Fultus Pride or the War Elephant. Preferably the Pride. Let's see Albrecht again. Oh, not on top. Feels bad. Let's just drop the Caro Ballista. We're going to use this Onager to try and take control here. We just kind of have to hope that Renfrey doesn't get a whole bunch of damage. I guess the eight, the six damage, and then the six random damage, or the destroyed eight and the six random damage, is it right here? We're going to have a problem. Okay, there's Snowdrop Leader. So that's good. It means you can't wipe our board yet. And then when we get this one, the Onager in, which will play melee to avoid the potential wipe if we put it in the middle of our ranged units. Probably have to play the Fultus Pride this round. Ooh, it's nice for him he had all that. We have no Tall Punish, we might as well work this guy down a little bit. Not that it will probably not matter in the end, but it's worth doing it. Let's see if he has another lock. His hand should be a lot less awkward now that he dumped those. 
Battle preparations. Oh, it's not Renfree. That's interesting. I assumed it was when I saw the Iris and such. Interesting. This is definitely going to kill our stuff then. Blightmaker and teleportation. Interesting. So we're just making it, just making the Albrick bigger. It is time to play Foltis Pride, I think. We just need to get a soldier out first. Let's do John. Although we'd really like to put Mela or put range. I, th I think it's actually time to get our Odrin. He'll be quite good here. He'll actually be really good. I'm not triggering Albrick here, so I'm not sure what's up. Odran is going to be pretty important here. There's the Albrecht. This guy's crew is the least useful. At least do this much. I'd be surprised if he has another answer. There's the Vilga Forts. Uh, let's see what this pulls. Should be. Let's see. Hopefully, it's Siege Tower. Foltis Pride still did well there. Let's put the elephant here. This way if he kills the Odrin, we can put a leader next to this and still trigger it. So we'll probably use one more leader this round. Because we're going to push him really hard, so I imagine we're using at least the second to last one. Just the strays to fix his hand. Next turn, these all cool down to one. Grab a winch. We should be able to force out all the stuff he wants to play here. Hyperthin is really vulnerable to that. There's the Sunset Wanderers. He draws the Albrick. He's just out of here. Pride is all we've left. Harmony. Haven't seen a Harmony deck since the big reversions to all their buffs. And we haven't played it either since then. Good meaning. We'll give it a shot at some point. This is good. We don't really have a bronze engine here, which is not good, though. We'll have to count on whatever we get off of Amphibious Assault to kind of carry us through the round. However, if we go off whatever we get Amphibious Assault, will be pretty tall and it'll get poisoned. So, playing some opening that way. Interesting. We do want to start with this, I think. Let's grab the regular Ballista. We lose less points to Carol Ballista this time. We lose less points if it was Carol Ballista. I 
There's Saskia. Probably gonna have to use Voltus Pride here. We do have a setup for its crew at the moment. Nice about Voltus Pride, it can kill Saskia. I think we'll do that. I was really hoping we could get a ping on the Saskia from our um, Onager at some point here. I guess that's out of the question, though. Okay, that didn't. That was the opposite of what we wanted. Guess we should have done this one first, so we don't waste one damage. Bombardment should take care of it next turn, though. Probably take care of Pavko, too. I think the round control is worth this, worth this by the way, since we're going second. The push on even's pretty strong. Okay, we did get her. This should do it for round one. We had to use two of our leaders to do it, but I think it's worth it. And our uh, Fultus Prime. He's gonna keep going. Okay. That was Witcher before he played it, by the way, so that was a mistake. He lost a point. Do the one point cooldown, or the one turn cooldown here. And now he breaks the crew. So he's got to feel a little unfortunate, a little sad about that. We want to push here. The question is how hard, because we could do it with Siege. I don't, if we don't do the siege, I think, is trading scenarios good for us? I think it is. Crew, do we need crew? We're okay. Much rather have Radovid or something, though. That's a good card. I think we push with the siege. His scenario is worth more than ours. And his is better in the short round. What do we Amphibious Assault? It's probably Ballista. Reinforce Ballista. We'll play the Onager first. So that should give him some trouble. It looks like he's not playing the poisons in here. Or if he is, he just didn't have enough round one, but he is playing the poisons. That's pretty good that we get this now, then. Let's just go for the cooldown first. We'll just take it. We'll take the advantage of the cooldowns, I think. Should be another poison, and in fact is. Stand tall, dead one. I think we grab. We could also grab the Odrin. Now let's do this. Oh, 
There's another poison. He's really saving them all for this. We have a crew, right? Yeah, let's play this. Let's put it here, because this is going to die. So I'd rather have a unit on left and right, because it's going to keep moving back. Hopefully that we can set up the War Elephant's crew as well. If we have to, we can use our last leader to do that. That'd be okay. I think we're far enough ahead we can do this. Although he still has his leader. There's the other poison. Does he leader here or not? Ooh, that's really good for him. That's so good for him. That just removes so much value from our stuff. There she is. He's in the leader. I think we keep forcing here. These are just bronzes, so we might as well just play them. The question is, do we use the last leader or not? More so than anything else. Probably not, because he has the Quirxus, and this is going to give him enough points. That would give us a lot of value on War Elephant. A lot of value. By 12. I think we'll use it. We have a lot of points left over here still. Okay, there's Dana. Really glad we got rid of her. He has the hand buff effect still. That lets him trigger the Beast Harmony again. I guess we should not have done that. But then let's just do... We play into Tall Removal. The tall removal gets us anyway. Let's go max value then. There's an oak critters. We should be good here. Going up against overwhelming hunger. See what we're facing here. It's probably just Death Wish. They do have a very strong round one, if that's the case. So we're gonna need to get some of our own stuff going here. We have a Siege Master, that's nice. Two winches can be quite useful. We don't have anything we need to set up the siege support for, so I think we'll put them back at the moment. This is fine. We definitely want to find as many siege masters as we can. Two of these is fine. Bombardment could be useful. I think we only need one winch here. Found Hensel. Um, let's think. Do we want bombardment? I think. I think we'll put back the tower. Okay, there's an onager. That's a nice one. Let's begin with the Carablista. Then I think we will save our crystal skull for the onager.
The long rounds should benefit us, I think. The only question is, is he going to have the Dagon set up? Is he going to have the um, Succubi set up? If he gets everything set up, he can do some good points. But we'll see exactly what he wants to do. And obviously, if he has Detlef and Arrakis Queen, that'll be a lot of points too. So we might be consider might consider Bleeding Ground too, but that depends if we can save Hensel. That's a Wyvern. That's interesting. I confess, I now am not really sure what's going on. <laughs> but, um, well, I think we still stick with our plan. It does remove an engine immediately, which is pretty good. I mean, he could be playing Beast with, um, like a Plague Maiden. Could be. Could also just be some random deck. Gonna heat wave our onager. I'm a little confused, not gonna lie, so let's just drop the second Caraballista. I'm not sure what deck he's playing that he has to heat wave us here for round one. It could be a triple deck. Like it's could he might be really playing Urn of Shadows and playing like triple something kind of combo. But in all honesty, we don't really know what he's doing. Okay, well that's that's not going to do anything. I imagine he's just going to pass coming up. And if he's going to pass, I think we just throw the Bombardment. Let's have these set up in case he doesn't. But I'd rather keep something like Ballista for later. Yeah, something's going on here. We cannot allow him to have round control. That is the conclusion here. I guess we'll play this. What do you want zeal on? Has another necker? No, we can't give him the round. I think we'll just grab the support. This is some kind of Witch's Sabbath deck, and he probably has Earner Shadows. Little annoying we lost that. Not even worth checking to see if our Heavy Salt's still there or not. Alright, so this is what we're playing. Alright, 25 points. I think we're safe here to pass. We don't really want to play these. Comes the Arrakis Queen. He's going to get some setup, but if we play these, we can't really match him, even if it doesn't. We can't match him. Won't be able to keep up to later. Using it back, this, this, and the other one. We could have played the John instead of passing there. I want to have him for access to other things later. I think we want to keep this hand. It's pretty good. We have a card we can play if he just passes. As he does. I'm an officer, I'm a gentleman. Not exactly what we're looking for, but the fact we can shuffle it back now means we can't draw it next round, which is nice. You're at plus four, you're at plus two. We can open with Siege. Go ahead and sell it. We have a lot of damage. Make sure we have Crew card. We have War Elephant. We have the other tower. At least we know we won't draw this. Then we have War Elephant and Reinforced Ballista. Actually, a lot of these cards would be good to draw. Better than him. Let's just begin here. 
He's already heat waved, so this is going to stick, and we can use it to set up some damage. Ideally, we go Henselt into. I actually think the Ballista might be better than the War Elephant. If the Witch is Sabbath, let's make our bombardments really big at least. Gives us zeal. Um, do we? Is there anything we need zeal on? I guess we could do it on Radovid. But I'd like to get some damage out right now. I think it's worth killing one of these. That's the bigger one. Eve does purify the others. All is as it should be. If he has the Koshe, we might be in trouble. But he can't use it yet. Yeah, we definitely want to go Ballista. I think the damage is going to be too valuable. Here's the second one. Which hopefully we can get rid of here. So he's going to do Karanthir Koshe probably next turn. The question is, can we get rid of the one that is melee? Not a good way to do it, but it won't, it'll have two boosts, so I think we can pretty safely just go Hensel here. I think we'll grab the War Elephant. Uh, where do we want to put him? Put it there. Then we'll use... Oh, we don't have the Ethics of Assault. That's right. Can't count on that. And there's the Drowner. Again, some movement. A little annoying. Do have some bombardment. I think it's time for this. I want to be able to target this, so I think we'll actually hold off so we can drop the Odrin next to it. Oh, we're playing Eltabold. This is an interesting one, then. I, the I should kill the Onager really fast. Call. Interesting. That changes things, doesn't it? So he's going to die, so we can just put Odrin behind these two. Probably worth hit, hitting him. And don't want to trigger you yet. Although it is hurting our Hansel points. All that being said, we still have our Voltus Pride. There's our crew there. Time for this, I think. He still has a lot of thrive points, though. To trigger those. We'll have to go Radovid, use the leaders, and then get out our other Radovid. He's getting a lot of points, that is for sure. Question is we have Winch and Bombardment. One, two, three, four, five, six siege. Siege engines, that's probably worth the bombardment. It's probably worth it. Do not test my patience.
Those are pretty similar. I think he's got this. It'll be, depends what his last card is. His deck's very heavily based around just getting the combo. Yeah, okay, so it's just a Siegfried. Siegfried. So this is going to do five. All right, all right. He does get it, which is Sabbath combo is too strong. We had to play the John round one, I guess. And save me some time. Going up against ooh pincer maneuver, Michael O one. Let's see what we've got. His hand's pretty reasonable, actually. Save you for later. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. If this is a Melitaly deck, then we definitely want to have this round one get some pressure. And it probably is. I studied my whole life through. Yeah, here I am. Start putting some damage on him at least. Bombardment does do the trick now, depending on how many points he plays next turn. He should just use the order. Or he's gonna play Donmir. So it's not a unit. So it's Drakenborg, okay. And use the Istra. He should use the, he should use the Istrid now. Then we'll put our damage into Snowdrop. Although I don't think we can actually kill the Snowdrop. I think it might be worth grabbing the second Onager. Round control is going to be very important. Oh, there's the Radovid. You want to be killing units because of but literally boost everything effect. I don't think we can actually get the snowdrop. He's used most of his draw effects anyway. Surprising. Okay, I was going to say surprising. It doesn't have crew, but it does. He has the draw. He's got both of them. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. Guess we really should just try and kill it. It's not for the Griffin Witchers yet. They're gonna be coming soon, that's for sure. We'll do this. I'm 
Really hoping he doesn't play a card here, though. Ah, but he does. Griffin Witcher. We're going to have to use one of our good cards here. Because he's just going to keep going. You're our best card. But you also... I think we just do it. We'll keep the Carol Ballista for later at least, though. That should force him out. If not, we guess we have to drop the War Elephant. Yeah, we have to drop the War Elephant. Or the Foltus Pride. Foltus Pride is actually the better one to keep, but he might not have many units later. And the World Fell we can do without the crew as well. Like, we just put it next to this guy, and he'll play for like 11, which is reasonable enough. Man, this Snowdrop that we couldn't kill is such a problem. It really is a good thing we went for that second onager. Otherwise, we'd just be done right now. But I guess if he's playing Priestess, we're still done. Because I guess no, we're not done yet. We still can force it out round two, potentially. To hit the mark, we aim above the mark. We should kill that one. Let's see. Yeah, we do this one. We can't play the Siege. We have to really put on the pressure here. That should do it, though. Problem is, we are basically out of our good cards. I'm pretty sure our only chance is to do some pressure round two, like an all-in, potentially. That being said, we do have our best cards. We'll do it. I don't think we have a chance against the actual combo. We need to force it early. We may have drawn too well round one. We had to waste too many golds. Nice, we wasted the military boost all by one. That's nice. To be fair though, He's used all of his King Radovid orders already. Is that volunteers? Yeah. Smoke them out. Let's do this. I'm gonna want to go reinforce Ballista next, I think. Don't ever expect your opponents to line up. I think we do want to at least save the last order on Judgment for round three. To slay dragons, tis our nightly duty. No, we have to get that out. Okay. 
Can we do should we do the two stockpile charges? I think we just all in him. Looking at this situation more. Put them a little lead back in, so I don't know if he has a way to draw it. There's no leader charges, so he might be in the situation where he can't actually get access to her. Because that doesn't get her, she's too big. My chargers do have 13. Ooh, that's a lot. That's the play's last card. Nice, we forced it. That's good. I still don't love our situation, but at least we don't have to worry about the Melitoli Priestess anymore. And we should actually just keep a Boiling Oil if we see it, in case he's the second Priestess. Although I guess he could just play it off of the... He just did the combo still if he has another one. What are we looking for? Probably Boiling Oil, honestly. That's fine. I pass on every Odrin's not much value here, but at least he plays for six. He's going to play for six as well, so we're pretty much even at the moment. That's a bricked spores, you'll love to see it. Let's just drop you down for the crew. This is Vernon Roach. I think he gets it, depending on the, the other priestess. Uh, it's, wait, he has no other unit to target, though. And this can't gain vitality. If he has no second unit, the priestess doesn't really do anything. She's like a four. So it can't target itself. So we should win. Yep. That'll do it. Overwhelming Hunger. Let's see what they've got. We're going first, which is nice. That is very nice. Let's see. Uh, we want. We do want to find Siege Masters. Bob Barber's not great if it's Death Wish. These are pretty good, though. So I think we'll put this back. We want to be able to hand salt one of those. We do want to have a couple of Warfares. They want a Siege Master, but this hand is quite good if we need to push round one. We could ba put back Odrin. Let's do that for now. There's a Dagon, so it is going to be Death Wish. Do have Onager. I think we'll use here. This next thing that's going to come down is the uh, Brewish Ritual, and we want to have some kind of answer to all that tempo. Oh, he doesn't have it. That is interesting. Doesn't have it. Very interesting. Let's play this. You wouldn't want to hurt us, would you? Let's grab our amphibious assault or bombardment. One of those. I'm going to grab amphibious assault here. Should we have it for later? That'll cool our stuff down. Then just grab, I think, the support. This way, if he keeps going, we can decide to play our um, Radovid and then just trigger uh, it right away for its order. But I think he will pass. He's not going to. Okay. There's our Amphibious Assault. Touch annoying. 
to the dungeon. We did set that up for a reason, but now we don't have it. Getting a bit of a lead here. The No Brewers Ritual is pretty good for us. We don't want to play all of our siege engines this round, but the fact that next turn the winch is so good means I think we will actually use this Caro Ballista. Obviously we could have gotten a crew with this. If we thought ahead like three turns to put it back here, but... Pretty sure he'll pass still. It's a toad, so he's setting up. I really want to kill the Toad, because if he has another Death Wish card, and we kill the Toad, it makes it awkward this round for him to play it. Because he'll lose the Toad then. But that, we're up by 43, that should be enough. We're not up by 43, we have 43. So we do win that round. Now we have to decide what we want to do here. We could apply some pressure, or just go to the long round. I think it will depend on our hand. It's looking like a round 3 hand. Yeah, we're definitely going to go round 3. We should have a really nice long round. However, that does entail us drawing Hensel and Siege. Which we have not managed to do. He's going to have his best cards left still too. He hasn't done his Brewer's Ritual, but that also means he hasn't thinned his deck. So we could get some awkward hands. Yep, he's gonna get the second succubus. I'm gonna make a chimera. That's weird. Why wouldn't you want the succubus? Could have been a mistake, I guess. I actually kind of like seeing judgment here, so we know we don't redraw it. What I don't like seeing is we still have no Hansel and no siege. We still don't have them. So while you can't rely on stuff round three, we could draw one with the Siege Master, but we could also draw Rat of a Judgment, which would be really bad. It's only a one out of seven we draw him. But we can't really use all of our leaders prior to playing a Siege Machine, so we're just going to have to go for it and see what we get. I mean, he's just gonna brew us ritual with the death wish and consume it. Yep. Oh, we infused the giant toad. That's not a very good one. Not a very good one right now. As long as we don't kill it, he won't get value from it. All right, this is just we're just gonna have to rely on this to draw a good card. I pass on every ten. Okay, I mean, that gives us another chance. It's not that bad, actually. That's pretty reasonable. Then we'll go in with... Ooh. Could go in Fultus Pride. We have another Cyclops still. I think we'll go in with this. I'm an officer. I'm a gentleman. No, we don't get our Siege or Hensel. It's pretty unfortunate. We'll have to see what we can do with the Foltus Pride, but the fact that we just have it means we're going to have to just go in with it when we play it. I'd like to play Onager next, and then go on. I think we just go Onager, Foltus Pride, and just kind of hope they both live. Problem with that being, he most likely has a Heat Wave and a second Cyclops. Or it could have, like, Muzzle and Heat Wave. The Muzzle's not as common in this deck. So 
Diregory. That's annoying. Let's play the Onager. He has another removal card, it's gonna hit the Onager, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's a second Cyclops. Now the only shot we have is the Foltis Pride. Do you want to fire it again right now? I think we'll fire it one more time. It's not getting full value, but it's getting good value. Just in case he kills it, we want to at least have used it. And we still have time to winch the War Elephant if we need to. Yep, we killed that, so it came back. I don't think we have the points to win, not without Hensel and Siege. Or Hensel or Siege, honestly. I think either one would probably have worked. Let's do the War Elephant. Just drop it down. We could get some good value from him. Or not. Question is, is he actually going to trigger these? I don't want to kill them if he can't kill them. Alright, that'll do it. So it's this is five. 10, 15, we can't beat him. We'll just end the game here. We don't have enough points to catch up. We really do need Hensel <laughs> and or Siege to play the Hensel Siege deck. That's the deck, guys. So what do I think would I change? Overall, I think Stockpile Siege is still a pretty solid deck. I think having, having um, not War Elephant is probably good, but War Elephant was fun. I think realistically, though, you should probably play something different. Uh, I think a heat wave would be really valuable here. And the nice thing is you can go like heat wave and then cut something else. One thing I was thinking is that Odrin, the best thing for Odrin, well, not the best thing, he's pretty, he actually did all right today. One I was thinking about a lot was the war chariot because its ability is interesting. Although movement's not that great, so you're really just getting the four bleeding on a three cooldown. So I'm not too sure about it. The Frigate would be a lot better. Like, if the Frigate got buffed, it would definitely be in this the deck, but I also consider just playing Reinforced Ballista to test it, but I don't think at the moment that's really worth it. But realistically, I think you should probably cut War Elephant. Yeah, cut War Elephant, put in Heat Wave, then you've got two spare provisions somewhere else you can bump something. I think that's probably the most reasonable, and it's probably either support or one of the towers for the Lock Lady. Realistically, you probably should go... It's Margarita, right? Where's Margarita? I think you'd probably go Heat Wave over War Elephant and then Margarita for the lock. Or Diregory, I guess. But Margarita's better because you can get it off of a Symphibious Assault. So I think that's the deck. Pretty reasonable. Not too much crazy there. And uh, hopefully it's a lot of fun to watch. It's pretty fun to play. I do enjoy some Siege. And we'll see you in the next one. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more, and you can check out some more videos over here, and thanks for watching.